All right, have you ever wondered what it's like to have a sled dynoed? Now we hear about these kind of things, the guys with the big power sleds, you know, the drag sleds, they put them on the dyno and we hear these fantastic numbers. But have you ever had your sled dynoed? Well, we're here today at JAWS Performance with Greg Balchin in North Gore, Ontario, to have the 700 do dynoed. It's the same machine that Skidoo and Articat use to give you the numbers that you see in their brochures and pamphlets. So let's check this thing out. Come on over here. The guys are working on this thing right now, hooking it all up. This is the nerve center where it's all done. So it says, according to Skidoo, in 2001, when this snowmobile was built, that that sled has 120 horsepower out of the box. So we're going to test this out, and we're going to see how these guys hook this up. They are the pros. They've been doing, doing this since 1988. This is a feed for the cooling water so we can run it. So we can run as much as we want without overheating. It strictly measures the air going in. Oh, okay. oh I see. Just to measure it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes into the office, Tom? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm here with uh, Greg Balchin of JAWS Performance. I've known Greg for a while now. I brought my 540 Elan in here a few years ago and you made a pipe for it. Pretty outstanding machine. Probably one of the biggest horsepower sleds you've seen in here. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> All right, but we're here today to have the 700 do dyno. Well, we want to know, we want some basic uh, figures right off the bat because we're going to do a little bit of engine work to this thing later on and I uh, want to know the difference, what kind of performance games we're gonna, gains we're going to get out of it. So. Skidoo says that this is about 120 horsepower out of the box, brand new, in 2001. What are your estimates on what we're going to get out of this? There's been nothing done to this sled. It's got 9,000 kilometers on it. 9,000. That's a good start there. <laughs> well broken in. Um, we've seen a uh, little over 120 out of them for sure. Yeah. Um, they're a pretty good engine. Okay. When you, I'm going to have some mild mods done to it. You're going to do the work. I, don't, I want it to be reliable because, you know, we go pretty far back into the bush and I, I want to run it on pump gas. So you're going to do some mods. What kind of gains do you think we're going to get out of it? You're not going to see a lot because the pump gas is the limit, but um, you'll see some throttle response increase and probably another five or seven horsepower on top end. Um, it'll definitely be more sporty when you're out there. Okay, more sporty. Uh, and and what, we're going to do a pipe? Uh, We'll get into some things, possibly a pipe, and maybe a little engine work here. There'll okay. No changing of compression or nothing. We'll still run with the same gasoline that you run all the time. Okay. So the dyno that you have, I just want to make sure that I'm on board and I know what's going on here. Skidoo makes numbers, or they, they report the numbers on this sled, you know, when it was put out of the box. How does that differ from this dyno that you have? Actually, this dyno will be the same as what Skidoo uses. Um, this is a research dyno. It's an eddy current. And uh, there's no reduction systems. Everything's direct in. Uh, there's no belt drives. The numbers are raw. They're the exact actual numbers the machine does. It's very accurate. So whatever that machine says, that's what we're putting out. It's uh, right it's, on. Yeah, it's the table of truth. Okay. So now, what did you have to do to hook this machine up to this, up to my machine? Yeah. Well, we did several things. One is um, we hooked the cooling system up to a, a, a cooling tower we have, and so that'll be just like acting like a like the snow, so the motor you can run indefinitely. Okay. Um, otherwise, the machine will just get hot and your numbers will get a little uh, bogus because you'd be running too hot or too cold just trying to catch a number. We'll measure the fuel flow, so we'll know the jetting and the airflow. And this will tell us how the performance gains are before and after. We'll be able to measure the differences and make sure it's balanced and not try and fool you. Okay, all right. So let's go and see what this thing can do. All right. uh, it's probably not the most powerful sled you've seen in here, but uh, we do appreciate you letting us come out to do this because this, uh, this is a learning experience and it's pretty fun. Well, it's always a lot of fun, Dino. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not blow it up though, right? No promises. No, keep that for the trail. <laughs> um, we're putting in the parameters of the engine, the bore and the stroke and the number of cylinders, the specific gravity of the fuel, and this will tell the computer what size motor it is and work out friction losses or any calculations for airflow. This is 
the engine RPM, of course your horsepower and your torque, and those are actually corrected. They're STP, standard temperature and pressure. And you have your air fuel and uh, the brake specific fuel consumption, which a lot of people like to go by. And you have engine temperature and air volume, the air temperature in the cell. Humidity is quite high today, 82% right now, and uh, air pressure is at 29.52. Okay, so how would that affect what we're doing here today? Well, it's not a favorable day for horsepower with rain outside, and, and uh, normally if it's snowmobiling weather, I don't think it's raining out. Probably so. want to stay in. <laughs> yeah. So it'll throw off the, the, the figures by just a little bit, perhaps? Not overly. It does compensate. The figures okay. will be right. Okay. Um, little things, if you were trying to get your jetting correct on a day like today, it would be a, a little bit off. Okay. But uh, as far as uh, the horsepower numbers, they'll be pretty darn close. Right on. All right. You're applying uh, resistance to that when you're doing that? Yeah, the dyno will load it um, at a given RPM. Okay. And then it'll take control and do things automatically. All right, well, we're going to do an acceleration uh, pull. It's a test where we'll start at a certain RPM and an end, and uh, we'll give the sweep of the, the uh, torque and uh, the horsepower, and we'll be able to see the jetting and the airflow and everything right from this. Right on. It'll be a pretty sweet deal. done our pull. Now what are these numbers telling us? Well, uh, I, freeze the, I froze it at uh, power peak and the power peak is at uh, basically 7900 RPM. It's making 122.7 horsepower and 81.7 pounds of torque. The jetting and the air fuel ratio are showing just a little bit rich for maximum power but it's a good safe place to hold wide open across the lake on whichever gas you get. Well, I don't hold anything wide open. <laughs> yeah, <I heard> <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's more than what we, we thought. You know, honestly, I thought this thing had come in under those numbers because usually when there's a published number, you know, I sort of seem to think that they're not always that accurate. Well, how, well, is, it, how is it that a sled that was made in 2001 with 9,000 kilometers on it can still have that kind of power? Obviously, it's been maintained well and it's uh, running well. It must be a good design. That's a good design. All right. Well, thanks very much, Greg. It's been a pleasure. Same here, Luke. I'll see you when I bring the motor back and then we'll have a little chat about what you're going to do. We had a great day at Jaws Performance. Came outside, nice and sunny out. What more can you ask for? Other than 123 horsepower on our sled, it's an amazing result. Make sure you check out JawsPerformance.com. Give Greg a call if you need any engine work done, pipes made, porting, dynoing. He's the guy to call. He is the pro and he'll give you the real numbers. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button on these videos. Get impossible to find me. Go on and believe it's nothing at all. Aren't you sick of promises that I break?